What's up everybody? This is Tina Gomez and I am one half of Team Animex. So we're back with another video and we're picking up from the last video behind the pages. And in this video I'm going to be painting the cover of our new series, The Gift of Fortune. And we will explain more on this story soon. Before I started painting, um, I blocked in some more things to guide me, like I did some of the trees and some leaves. So I'm just gonna get in to start painting. By the way, uh, I got my watercolor on the side, some paper towel, um, some water, of course, and these really cool sponges I got from Walmart. Um, I recommend you get some with like holes in it because it really helps the that tree effect. And I have my paint palette. I also got this from Walmart to put my paint in and blend colors if I need to. I have a pencil handy in case I need to use it. And I have my paintbrushes right here that I just got that I'll be using. Some more fine tipped brushes for the smaller parts. So I'm going to jump into this. Okay, so I'm pretty much letting this dry. But while I'm waiting, I don't know if you can really see... But there are little leaves, I'm just going to kind of outline them a little bit. I don't want to color them in just yet because all this is drying. So I'm just going to outline it real quick. Just some advice for you beginners out there with watercolor. Um, to be honest, I have not worked with watercolor a lot. I've only worked with it maybe three times now. Um, but I do have a tip for you guys. Start out light. Light paint, light color. You can always go darker, but you can't go lighter. Although with watercolor, you can try to fix it by adding more water eventually it does stain the paper so try to go lighter if you can and then you can fill in the dark spots of the shadows the shading all that later on another tip that um, I want to give you guys is um, there's also a technique where when you're doing the watercolor and you want to make, say, let's see, let's use a line right here, right, right there. Say you wanted it lighter, you can use good old paper towel and dab it a little bit and it will make it slightly lighter. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but that lo that little line right there in the middle, it became lighter than what it was before. Okay, so I pretty much finished up here for the most part with the leaves and stuff. I'm not done with this part with the tree trunks, but I want to show you guys a technique that I learned in high school. And I'm just going to cover up these characters right here and Michael's face so it doesn't get affected. With a paper towel. Because this side is already done. I don't want to affect it any more than what it is. And pretty much, you take a, well, you can use any size brush that you want. But use a, I usually use a bigger brush for this. Uh, because of the thick bristles. And then I use uh, the handle, a uh, thick handle 
for the other side. And I'm going to show you guys, this is my palette. I'm going to use this, and I'm going to use this. And it's pretty runny, as you can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to dip it in this green. I'm even going to add a little bit more water to make it lighter. I'm going to start out light. Get it on my brush. And control this. And I'm just making... I'm just going to do some splatters. You can keep your thicker ones in there. Now I'm going to use the brown. Now I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to do a little bit more. Um, since I already filled in some of my dark spots, I'll do a little bit, but I wanted to show you guys another technique. This is a thick bristle brush, and there's a technique you can do because of how it's, I don't know if you can see, but how it's spaced out on the tip. You can take it, put some paint on it and dab vertically to make some spots. But I'll show you on a blank piece of paper. Pretty much. See how it's all spaced out? And then you just keep building it up for certain parts. So, I'm sorry guys that this video went a little longer than expected. So I will finish it up in a part two of this painting. Um, hope you guys enjoyed part one. And we thank you all for your support. And we'll be back with much more.